and welcome back so in today's tutorial we'll be looking on one one of the interesting uh, thing okay in service now uta release so we'll be looking on what all uh, next experience changes or we can say features got added as a part of uta release which i really liked okay so without wasting any time let's get started so first and the foremost thing uh, is with respect to favorites so now with the uta release we got a feature that you can group the favorites into one one single entity right you must be and this is what every developer wants because we create a lot of mess around the favorites right and it's very difficult to categorize it out or group it out right so if i go over here right now on the favorites tab it's just similar okay how it used to look but if you click on the edit icon now you get this beautiful page and we have a option to create a custom group over here so i can give a name to to the same so we'll click on create a custom group and i will give it a name as um what we can do okay day to day act i will give day to day okay because this this is the thing these are the things which i use on a daily purpose right so i will just give it a color code okay and save edits so if you look at the favorites now we have day to day added over here so it's like a group of the entities right favorite entities now how to add in the same so if you go to all now what i used to do i i i used to work a lot on the user table and group tables right so if i go to user right so let's go to system administrator user okay if i click on the star now it will give you a pop up of a pop up asking what exactly you want to so i will give you user table users and now it will ask at which particular location you want to add it to the favorites so if you click on this you will see the top level which will be a default one and the one which you have created so you can create a number of groups so i will just add it to day to day group okay and i will do done so if i go back to the favorites again okay and if i click on day to day now so you can see the users over here perfect now let's do the same with groups so you can mark favorites with one more way so i've opened the groups thing okay and for example i just want to look at the groups which are active so i will do show matching and from here only you can simply mark it as favorite just click on the star okay it will again ask the same okay at where exactly you want to add so i will add it to the day to day group okay and i will just do done again i will go to favorites and see now we have two entities over here so in this way you can categorize your favorite list into different entities okay so this was the worst feature which i really liked the second feature is with respect to search so whenever we are searching anything out right so what we want to do or we want to have a favorites because what is the most used entity right we will store it on the favorite but when we search we will be searching on this entity so we want a component which are there on the favorites also so for example if i search group now so now what it does it search in the all result also as well as it search on the favorites so you can see if if you want if you are intend to find the one which you have marked as favorite and which is into day to day group or you want to see into all results right so in this way it eases your search result okay uh, it gives you a provision to search favorite first so so the hierarchy goes the favorite first and then all the results out so this is also one of the interesting feature I, which i really liked okay the third thing which i liked was a uh, notification trigger so uh, you must be thinking what exactly the notification trigger is okay so basically when you when an admin is working on certain task right so it's pretty difficult to have a track on certain things out so for example if a admin is working on incidents so he can't go keep on keep on uh, checking whether some work notes got added to the incident from the customer or not okay this is not feasible so in this in this kind of scenario you can define a notification 
which will be triggered to the user on certain conditions and it will provide the necessary information so it will keep the admin updated with uh, the latest updates on that particular record and you can define on at any level so for that what you have to do you have to just search for notification trigger so it's in workspace experience we have administrator under administrator we have notification trigger and uh, let's let's create a new one okay and let's look into the use case for example whenever a change moves uh, what we can do whenever an incident moves to in progress so we want to notify a user okay now uh, requested by user that your your incident has moved to in progress right so for that what we can do uh, we will name the notification as incident I think it got stuck over here. Mm -hmm. Not sure what happened. So we will make it incident in progress. It's just like a notification, but it differs in certain way out. Now we have to define a condition when exactly we want to trigger this notification out, right? So I will make it record change, insert and update. I will keep it, and it will be on incident table definitely. So I just clicked on the table, but it's taking some time to get loaded. Mm -hmm. on not when to send I will just click on table let me make it to the incident table I'm not pretty sure why exactly it's so slow. So I've selected the incident and now you can define the condition on top of it. That at what particular condition this notification should get trigger. So I will give when the state changes to changes to in progress at that particular point of time we want to trigger the notification out right so i will simply save it out and we have to define who will receive the notification also so what do we want to do we want to trigger the notification to the uh let's let's give system administrator and let's give to the requester because we want to make him aware that your incident is been acting upon right so as requested by oh it's called call right mm -hmm. requested by yeah got it so we will send the notification to the requested by person and we will save this out okay now you will be you must be thinking right where exactly we have to define the content for the notification right so you have a content tab over here just click on it no content is associated so you have to add the content so we'll go content and we will provide a new content and here you get an option now to create a notification for next experience so let's create it for next experience we'll give it as incident event in progress and then we'll just keep all the things as is and now you can define okay the incident move to in progress okay 
okay and here you can also define the fields so we will give which particular incident got moved right so we'll give the number for the same so let's give number you can give all any field right on the incident form so it's just the same thing uh, how we used to define the notification and I'll save it out okay let's copy this out I will just paste this only over here to the message also let's save this out and now let's go to the incident so I will go to the incident and let's look for some incident which which is uh, in new state so that we can move it to in progress right so this particular incident is in new state right from the David Miller so I will just open this incident out okay and um, what we will be doing let's move this incident It's requested by for this particular let's let's add one more thing over here let's add caller also mm -hmm. notification content no not notification content notification will go to the notification and who will receive we don't want resolved by right so it went by mistake we want caller okay let's let's keep the caller only okay and I'll just lock it out and I'll save this now we will go again to the incident so the caller is David Miller for this particular incident I will just copy this incident number and now we will move simply move to this to in progress and save this out so we will see how it works in action so I have saved it out okay it moved to in progress now it should trigger a notification to the David Miller right so what we will do we will simply impersonate with David Miller David Miller impersonate and let's see if some certain notification received on David Miller side or not so I have impersonated with David Miller and now if you see on the notification icon you can see account 1 right so that means one notification got received so if I click on this we can see the, the incident message what we have given right as a part of notification trigger it got popped up so this in this way you can keep the user updated with the activities on his record right so if I click on the same it will route you to the incident the respective incident record so this is also pretty nice feature I'm I'm putting it on a lot of requirements okay a big just to make life easy for the admins so this is all for today's video hope you like it out okay now uh, if you want to see future videos okay please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified for the same till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day ahead thank you